Okay, really cool about Squarespace is that if you're on your home page and you press the escape key from your keyboard, then you can um, go to your configuration page. And I'm already in Squarespace 7, so this is what it looks like, and I love it because it's so, it just, it looks clean, and I can see as I edit. I love it, I love it, I love it. Anyways, so to make a contract, go to pages. This is my main navigation. I have a footer navigation because of my template. Um, and then you can click on not linked. Um, I already have a few contracts down here. Um, and this is my sample contract. So here is your sample contract. But for the purpose of this, I'm going to show you how to make that contract. So let's make a new page. Go to page, create a new page, uh, name it the contract. And obviously there's nothing there. So you're going to want to go to page content right here edit and settings. You're going to want to press edit and mark where this is a markdown block which is on you know if you make anything if anything's new you're going to have a markdown block. Um, you can only remove it after you've made a new block or it won't go away. Um, so we're going to make a form. Name your form whatever you want. So like your client's name, form, maternity form, whatever it doesn't matter. Um, if you use one form for everything, you can just name it maternity, like, portrait contracts. Sorry, I'm like in the mind of maternity right now. I don't know why. Um, portrait contract. So you can add it to your Google Docs and connect it, or you connect it to MailChimp. You're going to have to connect it somewhere so that it gets sent to you. Um, it gets sent to my email, it gets saved to my Google Docs, and it gets sent to my MailChimp account. So for the submit button, instead of submit, it's a contract, so you're going to want to say, I agree, agree, or agree. I put it in the center because I things look better centered, I don't know. And then right here, your post submit message. So like as soon as they press enter, there's something that's going to pop up and say, thank you for choosing your name photography. We're happy to capture this special moment in your life. Um... You can also like set it so that it becomes like an open form. So you can enable Lightbox. So in, for example, like your Lightbox, see it says open form, or you can say contract right here. And as, as they click it, then it opens into to that. But I don't use that because I use separate, I just make separate pages for my contracts. So here's the edit form. We can't digitally sign anything, although I've requested from Squarespace, so hopefully they will come out with a digital signing thing that we can use for our contracts because I'm pretty sure a lot of photographers use Squarespace anyways. Um, so right now I just use text and I just say by typing my name here, name below, I agree to whatever. Um, and then I press required. Um, I work in checkbox. So if you go, if you see my contract, then I just say by checking whatever below, I agree to whatever. So I agree to this, I agree to that. Just make sure that whatever, you, as for different parts of your contract, just make sure you press enter and create a new checkbox. And then press required because it's kind of required. And then you can have your name, their name. You can add as many names as you want. Or for the text area, I usually just say name all the people who are being photographed, their ages, and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and then I save it. What really cool about Squarespace 7 that isn't on 6 is the fact that we can make cover pages, which if you click create a new page, which is, you know, the same thing as Squarespace 6, so it's just a plus. Um, Right here, you can see cover page. So, really cool. So just name, cover page, yay. And it'll open. And then you can create which lay, you can pick your layout however you want it to look. Um, there's a few. Those are it. And, you know, that's a lot for Squarespace because it's very customizable. Um, so you can put here, like, the branding and text right here. So you can pick, you can decide to put your logo and upload that, or you can just use text. And then the headlines right here, and then the body. 
Um, so I have a sample cover page that I already made because um, I've been playing around with it and I kind of love it. I'm still working on it. I'm not sure if I like it. Holy, sorry. Um, here we go. So this is mine. I picked this layout and you can change it however you want. Um, this is how it looks like on the mobile phone. As you can see, like as you get smaller, it'll show you what your your page looks like on a phone. That's kind of cool. I think that's new actually. Um, but if you click this arrow right here and make it bigger, then you can see what it looks like on the web. But that's pretty cool and I hope you play with 7 because it's kind of awesome and you get to see what you're doing live. So enjoy!